Hey, what's up, YouTubers? Okay, so um, in the last video where we left off, we were doing the login form, and so today it's going to be another short video because we're just going to create an error page uh, that we're going to use to display error uh, messages. When it comes to success message messages, um, most of the stuff is going to be displayed either here in the login form or if you finish uh, after a successful registration, the success message is going to show here. So we don't need to create a success message. Uh, we can, but uh, we don't need to. We can just use the. Uh, we can just create one page for displaying error messages. Okay, so the error message page is also going to take up the same uh, styling, which is going to be this background, and then the card itself. It's just going to be um, a reddish uh, color, and then it's going to display uh, whatever error messages we want to display here. So here within VS Code. Uh, we just have to create a page called error. Right. And then we can just add that boilerplate. And then here we can say error for errors. And then again, we're just going to take these resources that we've uh, copied over here. All right. And then paste them up here. Okay, so um, again, that is going to be uh, contained within a card. So, oh yeah, by the way, um, I'm going to align it to the middle. So I'm going to say, I'm going to add a class to the body. I'm going to say um, D flex. If you don't know what this means, it means display flex. Um, that's for those of you, in case you were wondering. Um, and display items center, justify uh, content center. And then here, we're going to say card. This is going to be error card. Right. And then end of card. All right. So we're going to say card. That's a bootstrap class. And then I want this card to spend about four columns. So for that, I just have to another, add another class and say call and then four. And then everything is going to display in red. So we need to add two more classes to this, which is going to be, or actually a, a number of classes, which is going to be alert and then alert uh, danger. This is going to give it a reddish color. And then we're going to say border. And then dot uh, border danger. So this is going to give it a reddish border. And uh, press enter. And then that should be it. All right. So we're going to say um, card title. Right. And then I'm going to say end of uh, it's going to be an age. Let's just make it an age three. And then I'm going to say card title. And then in here, we're going to have an icon. And FA, um, what is it? I think it was FA window close, which is going to give it an X, uh, kind of like an X um, next to the text. And then here we can just say errors, right? And then let's just put a horizontal line here. And then here we're going to put a card text. For now, we'll just put sample text just to give it some body. But when we get to um, working with um, with Java or with Spring Boot, um, whatever error messages we have, uh, we will just we will set it up once we start working with that. So for now, we'll just put some card text. I mean, some sample text. Uh, actually, this needs to be within a body. Sorry. So first thing I need to do is create a card body. Let's say end of uh, 
Okay, and then we can paste that back, hard text, and then paste it again here. P log card text. Okay, so here we'll use lorem for that. Uh, this is an extension I installed, by the way. An emit, as you can see, an emit abbreviation. So here we can then add, how, let's just put 20 characters within here. Okay, let's just uh, put that on the next slide. All right, um, let's just see how it looks. So remember our page was error. Um, oh yeah, we need to link. We need to link that. Um, we need to link that. I wonder why it's not showing to the center. Oh yeah, we need to link that default uh, styling page CSS. Uh, CSS and then default. All right. Okay, so obviously this is picking up from the last, um, from the stylings that we made within the last video. So to override these styles, we can just um, place in um, what you call it. We can just put in our our text over here and say text danger. All right. So it's not working. Okay. Uh, Let's remove this. <sighs> okay, so I don't want to change anything we did for the previous video. So let's just uh, let's just work this through. Okay, so uh, the body needs to be one hundred percent in order to show that uh, um, that um, what you call it that. Um, so let's just add. Or actually, we don't need to do it here. Let's just make the stylings up here. So we'll say style. So we'll say body. And then we'll say uh, height uh, 100 viewports. Right. That should be, that should give this, uh, send this to the middle. And then the, we can actually take these stars from here and do this. Right. Obviously, this is not going to be going back one. You can just do that. And if you check now, it should give it the same background color. Okay, so now let's target the card text in here. So it's going to be card dot card text. It's way too big in my opinion, so we can just say um, font size will be, let's just say 12 pixels. Let's check it now. Ah, that's way too small. Okay, um, uh, let's make it 14 pixels. Uh, still a bit too small. Let's make it 16. Okay, that's fine. Right now, let's target all the all the elements to have the same font. So for that, we're gonna say um, box sizing it's going to be border box and then font uh, family will be um, court right it should be so I just want to put some space in between that error and that um, icon over there so that's simple we can just say margin and uh, let's just give it a spacing of two there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay. Um, should we give this a shadow? We can. In fact, we can even use a bootstrap one. We can say shadow. Um, just do that. You know, give it a shadow. Uh, 
it's there but it's very very light or we can use our own one so we can take you can take this here you can take what we did here uh, up here we can just say card and then paste it there and then remove this class over there and if you come back it should give it uh, the same box shadow that we set up for all the other elements all right so the last thing we need to do is just a button down here um, Wait, I put all these elements within the... Oh, it was my mistake. Sorry about that, guys. Uh, let's just copy from up here. From where it says card body up until where it says HR. Sorry about that. I actually didn't notice that I put it within the same H3 element. Probably that's why it was showing such a big text. All right, so let's try this and see. Okay, it should, it should stay the same. All right, and then here... Below the card text, we're going to place it. Um, let's just give uh, another HR tag. Sorry. HR. And then here, we'll just put a anchor tag. Right. Well, this one will go. It should go back to the login page. If there's an error. And then, see. Let's just give this an icon as well. Uh, class fa fa um, arrow left okay and then we can just say back right um, let's just give it a margin we can just say m margin end let's just say one and then we're gonna give this anchor tag a class of btn btn sm and then btn danger which is going to make the button red uh, Okay, uh, let's just see now how it looks. All right, so yeah, that's our, that's our, what you call it, um, our, our back, uh, I mean, our error, error, error uh, what you call it, card. So this is where we will inject all the error messages that we need to display to the user, uh, depending on whatever action they are performing on the application itself. So um, yeah, apologies for that, guys. I actually forgot when we were designing the login and registration form that the back the, the error card is also going to be using a card to um, um, to contain what we need or to contain our uh, error messages card. I mean elements. And so <laughs> when we were doing the styling for that, I actually forgot that this might be different. So but in any case, as you can see, the styling didn't take too much of it. Uh, it's it's just uh, making sure that we and I set these elements to display how we wanted them. And then just remember the, because the error page is sitting outside, um, outside of the bootstrap, I mean the CSS folder, uh, it needs to just go one folder down and then, yeah. But all the other elements within the uh, other CSS files, it has to go back up one, one directory and then into the, into the images folder. All right, so I think that should be it in terms of the, if I click here, yeah, it should take me to the login page and so forth. So yeah, that should be it in terms of the error messages card. All right, guys, so that's it for the video. Um, again, if you've liked what you've seen so far, uh, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Um, I'll see you guys within the next video. All right, cheers for now.